In today's video, we're going to answer the question, will it cut? What are we talking about? We're talking about the Midmount mower deck on the Yanmar SA324. I'm going to show you how to install it, how I adjust it, how to remove it, and then we're going to take a closer look at the deck itself. Stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you a standard feature on this tractor that could save you a lot of money and a lot of downtime. We're going to start out by installing the mower deck on the tractor. First thing, follow all safety precautions. If you have any questions, consult your owner's manual. I'm going to use a good pair of gloves while I'm doing this. Make sure the tractor is in low range and that it is in four wheel drive so it can pull itself up over the mower deck. So we're going to get the tractor fired up and drive it up over the mower deck. Okay, a couple of things I want to talk about real quick here before we start hooking the deck up. One, as I was driving over top of the mower deck, I'm using these red metal guides to help guide the front wheels over the deck, help keep it lined up. You'll notice when I pulled up here, I stop when the back wheels are pretty much up against the back of the mower deck. That just make sure I've got it squared up as best I can. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to drop the three point arms down so that they can engage on the back side of the deck here. I'm going to move the camera in so we can get a closer look at that. All right, first thing we're going to do is lower our three point down. And you can see the mower deck lift arm dropping down. All right, we'll fire the tractor up and back it up. All right, we've got those arms seated in there now. We're going to go ahead and move around to the front of the tractor for the next step. Okay, we're at the front of the tractor now. We're going to put the front linkage on. That just locks into the front of the deck. Move this lock out of the way. The black bar goes in these grooves. Sometimes this gets off center just a little bit, just center it up. Put your lock back in and we're good on the front. We'll move around to the side so we can lock the rear end now. Okay, so I start out by locking the front of the mower deck in first and then come back here to the rear. By pulling the front end, it helps pull these pins tight into the hooks and you can just rotate the rear around and just make sure it locks over those pins on both sides. Last thing we've got to do is hook up the PTO shaft. Okay, so we've got all the linkages hooked up. We've got the PTO shaft hooked up. We're gonna start the tractor, lift the deck up, and we'll get the wheels put on the deck. All right, so I wanna take a minute here and talk about the design of this deck as far as adjusting the wheels on the deck. Yanmar lists this deck as a ground following deck. So what that means is you would set your wheels based on the holes here, and then you would lower the deck down to where the wheels were actually supporting the weight of the deck and it would follow the ground. Now, I don't use the deck exactly that way. 
I'm going to show you how I adjust the deck after we get the wheels on. Okay, we've got the deck lifted up. We're going to go ahead and get the wheels put on. Slide down in these brackets. You've got pins, washers, and a clip to hold them. I use the second to highest setting on this. I like to keep my grass tall. All right, the washers go on and then put the clips through. Okay, so I've got those set in the second to highest setting. You'll notice there's multiple holes down through here. You wanna make sure you match them up on both sides, front and back. Something else I wanna point out is, these do have grease zerks for the wheels and for the caster part of it. You wanna make sure that those grease zerks are on the outside so that you can get to them to grease them. So we're gonna repeat this on the other side of the tractor and then we'll jump into how I adjust the mower deck. Okay, so let's take a little closer look at the way these are designed to work. So you'll notice the different holes here. Those are half inch increments. So you, this deck is designed to be able to mow from one inch up to four inch. And then you can adjust half inch in between. So the way I have these wheels set up right now, they'd be set up for three and a half inches. Now, I don't use the deck that way. What I do is I actually use the three point. I set the stop on the three point to actually keep these wheels off the ground just a little bit and use them as more of an anti-scalp wheel rather than carrying the weight of the whole mower deck. Okay, so how I'm gonna set this, this up is I'm gonna use my stop on the position control. I'm gonna bring that up to about six on here. Now keep in mind, this does not mean that I'm mowing at six inches of height. We'll lower it down. We'll take a look at where that puts the wheels. Okay. With our position control set like that, we've got just a little bit of clearance on the wheels. So our weight is supported by the three point on the tractor and not completely supported by our wheels on the mower deck. Now I will say this is not the way Yanmar says to do it. Uh, but the reason I do it this way is you'll notice these front wheels have a lot of wear on them already after one mowing season. And I'm trying to keep some of the weight off of these just so they don't wear out as quickly. And I will say that having it set up this way, it does mow very well. All right, I'm gonna get the deck back off of here. So we're just gonna reverse the procedure and we'll get the deck off.
All right, we've got the deck back off of there. I hope you noticed that before I backed off the deck, make sure to bring your three point all the way back up once they're out of these slots. So that allows the deck to release and you can back over top of it. We'll take a closer look at the deck now. Let's start out by taking a look at the top side of the deck. EMR doesn't put a whole lot of information on their website about this deck. It just tells you that it's a 60 inch fabricated deck mowing height between one and four inches, ground following deck. Uh, this is actually an M60F. I would assume that the F stands for fabricated instead of a stamped deck. Now, when I purchased this tractor, they did offer both styles. They offered the stamped deck for it, which was not a drive over deck, and the fabricated deck, which is a drive over deck. Not a whole lot to see on the top of this. Uh, it does have some heavy metal plates here over top of the spindles to drive over. It's got little rubber plugs in them to pop out to grease your spindles. I will be doing my spring maintenance on this deck, so really that's just going to consist of greasing spindles. I will pull the plug out of the side of the gearbox, make sure my fluid level is good there. Just do a visual inspection on my belt. And then, of course, I'll get the blades sharpened up and ready to go for the year. I'm going to flip this deck up so we can take a look underneath of the deck and see what makes this deck cut so well. Okay, we've got the deck flipped up so we can take a look at the underside. First thing I want to point out is, is Yanmar chose to use cast iron spindles on this deck rather than aluminum. They're a pretty beefy spindle. I think if we keep those greased up, they should last a long time. It looks like they've also used two different thicknesses of steel on this deck. So some parts of the deck have what I would guess to be an eight gauge steel and other parts look like they're made out of a 10 gauge steel. They have added double layers in wear areas and areas that just need additional strength. So one of those areas is right behind the spindles here, all the way across the middle of the deck. They put a double layer in there where those spindles mount. Another area is right over here on this non-discharge side that's where you're going to rub up against trees or landscaping rocks. So it's got an additional piece of steel around there to add strength and to add like a wear edge on there. At the front of the deck, they've got a removable baffle. So I've got it setting in here just to demonstrate where it goes. And my guess is, is that helps hold grass in the deck just a little bit longer, probably mulches the grass up a little bit better. I do have it removed. It just unbolts out of there. And I, my thought is, is you get a little bit air, better airflow over the front of the deck with that out of there. The deck itself has a depth of just under four and a half inches. This deck bows very evenly from side to side. I would guess part of that's probably because the wheels for the deck are mounted very far out on the edges. There's very little deck sticking out past those wheels. So you get virtually no scalping with the deck. Overall, the cut quality is excellent with this deck. Something else I wanted to show you on the lift arms for the mower deck. Now they're controlled by the three-point hitch and the position control on the three-point hitch. So when you have the mower deck off and you wanna use a tiller or a rear blade on the tractor and you don't want these arms dropping down, you just take and flip this piece right here down and that'll actually lock the bar up so that when you drop the three point down, it stays up and out of the way so you don't have to worry about getting caught on things. So just wanted to show you that. That is part of the linkage here on the lift arms for the mower deck. Okay, in that last clip, I said with the mower deck off, if you're gonna use a tiller or a rear blade, by flipping those linkages down, you could lock the arms up. If you have the mower deck on, you can flip those down and actually lock the mower deck up as well. I know some people like to leave their deck on while they're do using the rear implements. So if you do that, you can flip those down and it will hold the mower deck up as well. So earlier in the video, I said that there's a standard feature on the Yanmar 324 that can save you money and save you downtime. So right now, we're going to take a look and see what that feature is. We do have to climb underneath the tractor to see it. So I'm gonna get some light underneath there. And we're gonna take a look at it. All right, we're underneath the tractor and the standard feature that Yanmar puts on this tractor that could save you a lot of money and a lot of downtime 
is right here. Now this is the drive shaft running from the engine back to the hydrostatic transmission. And what this is, is a shroud around the plastic cooling fan. If you look right up top there, you can see the top of the fin sticking out. On most subcompact tractors, this cooling fan is going to be exposed. So if you have your mower deck off and you go out in the woods or you're brush hogging a field and you kick up a tree branch and it hits those blades, it's going to bust them off. Yanmar on their later models has added this metal fan shield on here to protect that fan against tree branches, against tall weeds. Yanmar has done a great job of designing and updating their tractors. In conclusion, subcompact tractors aren't just for digging and tilling. They can help you with your mowing chores as well. I hope you've gotten some useful information out of this video and thank you for watching.